So this is my adobong sitaw and with oyster mushroom. It's really, really yummy, guys. Yum. Hi, guys. Today, our new recipe is adobong sitaw with oyster mushroom. So, ito yung mga ingredients, guys, na kailangan natin. These are the ingredients that we need to cook adobong sitaw with oyster for vegetarian. So, here we have garlic, three cloves of garlic, one medium size of onion, uh, or one inch of ginger, it depends upon your, your desire. Then we have half of capsicum, and I use olive oil, tamari soy sauce, mushroom granules, herbamere soap, and one half of this diced tomato. So just one half can of diced tomato, this is super super yummy. And these are the sitaw or snake beans that I harvested this morning from my garden. Oyster mushroom, you can buy this in Earth Market. Okay guys, so let's get started. This is super super yummy. First, you heat your or warm up your olive oil a little bit. And then let's put our garlic. So let's fry first until it will become uh, crunchy and brown. And it's getting a uh, smell. Nice smell. As you can see, the garlic is starting to brown. So we will put our onion and uh, capsicum and ginger. And let's give a little bit of care. Mm, yummy! Then let's put our snake beans. And let's give a stir. After you stir, let's put our tamari soy sauce. It's super yummy, it's organic. Whatever your preferred taste. And then I put my herbamere soap. This is the one I use for cooking. And then just stir. Keep on stirring until the soy sauce and herbamere soap are mi mixed properly. I also put uh, mushroom granules. This is really yummy. And just mix. Then I put this one here. I put this last because this will cook easily and just mix them and then cover it that's it okay just cover it and leave it when it will cook we can show it let's check it guys oh wow Wow, it's super yummy it's already cooked you don't overcook the snake beans so that's it guys it's super yummy so this is my adobong sitaw and with oyster mushroom it's really really yummy guys yum